السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ میں ہوں آپ کی میزبان عظما خان اور آپ دیکھ رہے ہیں فیگیم سسٹرس کونا اور ویلکم بیک ٹو اولڈ آڈینس ہو واچنگ سسٹرس کونا ایٹ دا مومنٹ ہمارے ساتھ بہت ہی اچھی مہمان موجود ہیں اور ان کا نام ہے سبینہ رشید اور جو کہ بیہیویئر مینجمنٹ کی کنسلٹنٹ ہیں اور اس وقت کام کر رہی ہیں پیرنٹس کے ساتھ اور اسکولس کے ساتھ بیہیویئر مینجمنٹ کے لیے سسٹر سبینہ کا کافی وائڈ ایکسپیرئنس ہے اس لحاظ سے اور انہوں نے بہت سارا کام کمیونٹی میں بھی کیا ہے جہاں پہ پیرنٹس کو ٹرین کیا ہے اور مختلف ایشوز جو بچوں کے بیہیویئر رویے کو مینیج کرنے کے حوالے سے ایشوز آتے رہے ہیں ان کو اچھی طرح سے ان کے بارے میں مختلف اسٹریٹجیز انہوں نے بتائی ہیں ان پہ کام کیا ہے اور میں بڑی اپنی خوش قسمتی سمجھتی ہوں کہ آج سبینہ ہمارے ساتھ موجود ہیں اور سبینہ سے بات ہو رہی ہے اور تمام جو آڈینس اس وقت پروگرام دیکھ رہے ہیں ان کو بھی ہیلپ ہو رہی ہے سو آئی ووڈ کم بیک ٹو سسٹر سبینہ اینڈ کنٹینیو ود دا کوشچن اینڈ دا کوشچن واز اباؤٹ ایمپتھیٹک بیہیویئر ٹوورڈس چلڈرن اینڈ وی ور ڈسکسنگ ڈفرینٹ اسٹریٹجیز فرام یو نو فار دا پیرنٹس اینڈ دا ٹیچرس ان ڈفرینٹ انوائرمنٹس وی ول فوکس آن ایکچولی مور ٹوورڈس پیرنٹس بیکاز اوبیسلی سسٹر لاٹ آف پیرنٹس آر واچنگ دا پروگرام رائٹ ناؤ اینڈ وی ول ٹرائی اوور بیسٹ ٹو گیو دیم لائک واٹ ایور وی کین ان ریکارڈس بیہیویئر مینجمنٹ ود دا چلڈرن سو پلیز کنٹینیو ود دا کوشچن ایز آئی ہیو آسکڈ بفور الیا فار دا بریک سو یو مینشنڈ اباؤٹ چلڈرن ود اسپیشل ایجوکیشنل نیڈس سبحان اللہ اٹ از اٹ از اے ٹیسٹ دیٹ پیرنٹس ہیو ٹو گو تھرو آئی سی دا their passion, their love, their dedication, and their overwhelm and exhaustion. Yeah. So what I feel that my job is when, when I have parents who come to me who have um, children with special educational needs, mm -hmm. is I feel that the best way I can support them mm -hmm. is to, I, first of all, every child is different, so I have to gain, you know, get their paperwork and understand what that child needs. Yeah. And then I try to train the parents up to be able to deliver, you know, what they can for these children mm -hmm. because what often happens is that you have advice from speech and language therapists you have advice from pediatricians and you know uh, educational psychologists and it can all get a bit overwhelming for parents mm -hmm. so what i do is i try and make sense of that so that they can implement it for their child mm -hmm. in a way that suits them and one of the biggest issues that comes up is you know for parents with special education needs children for parents with children who do not have these, you know, who are, um, you know, not only generally really. behavior yes. issues or EBD exactly. or, um, but it's the overwhelm, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Um, every exactly. parent, you know, who, yeah. which parent is it that has if it felt a that? normal child and, yeah. uh, you know, not listening or mm. having any sort of behavior issues or having habit of like something bad, mm. uh, that is a cause of concern for it the is. parents. It is. Yeah. 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 So what I, what I do for my clients is I, I help them to, to understand what questions they can ask. Mm -hmm. You know, even with children who are, who can talk, who can walk, who can talk, who can communicate with you, mm -hmm. the important thing is actually, we want to teach them to think mm -hmm. because we, you know, we've all heard stories of where the parents were so strict. We do this, 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 and this, it's all regimented. And the children had no say in any of it. And when the children went out into the wide world, they went crazy. Yeah. What we want to do is we want to allow our children to think. Mm -hmm. So again, psychology comes into it, understanding the needs, mm -hmm. understanding yourself, understanding your children, that does come into it. And then how can I get my child to think? Mm -hmm. So, you know, one of the things that we discussed earlier is that anxiety is rising. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to give you a, a quick and easy thing to do actually to support our children to be more resilient. Yeah. Why is anxiety rising? Anxiety means, you know, we're, mm -hmm. we're stressed out and we're scared, right? Yeah. We're scared. We're scared about every day, whatever it is, challenges, new things. We're scared, yeah. okay? I would say it's not, uh, you know, when we talk about anxiety or stress, actually, it's not a form of kind of like it's disease. It's the way we control mm -hmm. ourselves, mm -hmm. how we react. If we are like stressed or in a bad situation, mm. um, 
how do we take in? Exactly. You yeah. know, like how do we I take heard, in? Um, I had someone say, uh, "Life is ten percent what's." what happens to you yeah. and 90% what you do about it. Exactly. Right? Yeah. So one of the things that, that I do with children that I work with mm -hmm. is every single day, yeah. I will ask them a few questions. Mm -hmm. What did you focus on today? Yeah. What are you, what did you achieve today? Mm -hmm. And you know what? It doesn't have to be big things. Children think and parents think mm -hmm. that unless they've got a certificate in something, yeah. unless they've completed their GCSE, it's not an achievement. A small thing that you focused on, mm -hmm. maybe it was for young children, maybe they built a Lego tower and yeah. they focused on it. Yeah. What did you focus on today? Yeah. What did you achieve today? Yeah. What are you grateful for today? Yeah. And most importantly, what did you fail at today? Mm -hmm. As a society, we've become more and more scared of failing. Mm -hmm. But if we don't fail, how are we going to you know, make strides? How are we going to do amazing things? You need to yeah. fail, right? We exactly. need to fail and learn. Yeah. You know, yeah. the, everybody says, isn't it? The yeah. biggest um, teacher in life is failure. Yeah. Exactly. What did you fail at today? And it could be a small thing. Yeah. And what did you learn from that? Mm -hmm. If parents can ask their children these questions, Mm -hmm. you know, every single day and the children get used to it. They answer it with ease. It goes into their psychology. It yeah. goes into who they are. Mm -hmm. You know, a child actually recently asked me, oh, miss, these questions are so boring and they're so abnormal. I don't know anybody who asks these questions. Why do you keep asking these questions? Yeah. And my answer, and it obviously depends what's the age of your children or what's the understanding yeah. of your children. My answer is that in life, good things will happen and you will soar. You will fly with the eagles. Yeah. And bad things will happen and you will fall down. Yeah. The height at which you soar and the depth at which you fall is dependent on the ease with which you answer these questions. Yeah, that's a very good point, um, mm. Sister Sabina. And a very important thing was coming in my head. Obviously, sometimes it happens in our society or in our life um, that we think that there are only two ways. Win or lose, mm. you know, and we never think about there is a middle way as well, uh, where we learn, we learn from our win and we learn from our loss as well. Mm. And that is the main thing in your life. Mm. If you're learning mm. f when you win, like, oh, I have done this because I, I have been adopting like these, these, these things. And I was resilient on um, while doing these things. And uh, I couldn't do it because I was not doing these things in a right way. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Um, and then we can be like more um, kind of um, better. We can act like a better person. Yeah. Um, and uh, obviously, um, Sister Sabina, let's come to the topic. Um, when we discuss about like different behaviors, obviously, um, these days, especially um, the parents are having huge problem, huge um, stress as well their children are not listening. Mm. They have to be called out like 10 times, sometimes most of the times. More, more, more than they that. Are, <laughs> they are on the computer and they are like so focused yeah. on the computer, on the screen throughout the day. Maybe if, if parents find it more peaceful rather than like uh, children fighting with each other, but that is a big distraction for their brain. Yeah. yeah. So how would you, um, what do you think, what strategies mm. parents can okay. adopt okay. to deal with those sort of children? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So um, getting your kids to listen to you is, it's, it's a longer topic. And if you, if anybody wants to um, watch a full training, it's absolutely free. It's on my website, uh, www.calmconfidentparents.co.uk. There's like a 40, 45 minute training on that. That's really good. Um, yeah, so, so you can watch that. But just quickly here, number one, how are we giving the instruction? Yeah. Number two, what are we doing to, to build a relationship with our children? Mm -hmm. Because, you know, you know what, <clears throat> if we look at kind of like where tribes, you know, if we look at mm -hmm. families that grow up in tribes or even like my parents' generations or, or whatever, Getting your children to listen to you wasn't such a big issue. Exactly. Because the relationship was there. Yeah. And there were other people modeling mm -hmm. good behavior, right? Yeah. Um, so that's the other question. How are, we, how are we building a relationship with our children? So one of the biggest things that puts children off is when we say something to them and we don't implement it ourselves. 
Yeah. So, you know, like I always have like, um, or when I first started this, I used to have with my children every six months, I used to sit down and mm -hmm. write down our family values, what's important to all of us. Yeah. And I had to ask them the question, how do I need to be in order for you guys to feel happy and safe and mm -hmm. secure? Mm -hmm. And that's hard because it might be that at meal times they're not the only ones putting their switching their TV off and whatever else. Mm -hmm. We have to put it away as well. It is hard, but that's the second thing. And the third thing is building focus. You know, um, how do we build focus? Mm -hmm. It might be that you give your child a job that only takes them two seconds to do, mm -hmm. or it might be that they're helping you in the kitchen with something, mm -hmm. and slowly, slowly they learn to do that. Yeah. You know, boys, girls, doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. And they're building the, you know, that ability to focus. Mm -hmm. Screens is a huge issue. Yeah. It's, not, it's not even just for children, even for yeah. adults. Yeah. The quality of the relationships that we are building nowadays mm -hmm. is going down. Why? Because we don't give full focus to even our friends or our yeah. family. Yeah, that's true. And the thing with screens is that millions of pounds every year yeah. is being spent on research on how do I get someone addicted to my app? Yeah. How do I get someone addicted to my game? Yeah. So it is, uh, you know, for me, it's, again, it's a longer topic, but it's really dangerous to give young children the phone yeah. and just give it to them for ages yeah. and leave them with it. Yeah. Because what's happening is that, whereas back in the day, that child would have to spend at least 10, 15 minutes, mm -hmm. or a young child, maybe even five minutes, focusing on drawing something. And then they'd be like, look, mom, look. Yeah. You know, oh, this is so cool. Or a teenager, they'd have to focus on doing something yeah. to feel that sense of achievement. What's yeah. happening now is they're pressing a button, something moves, light flashes in their eyes, yeah. and, a, and a dopamine hit goes in their brain. Yeah. Every millisecond. Exactly. Dopamine hit, 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 hit. And that dopamine says... I've achieved something. Mm -hmm. That dopamine says, I like this, I'm happy. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's actually what happens when people get addicted to other things, you know, substances yeah. and things like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dopamine plays a big part. Yeah. So, you know, it's really unfortunate, but I have had parents of 15, 16 year olds mm -hmm. who have not controlled the devices in the younger years. Mm -hmm. I've had mothers crying to me, mm -hmm. telling me that, when I try to switch off the Wi-Fi mm -hmm. because my child is so focused on that that they're not doing their studies, mm -hmm. they're not you know, involving themselves in any part of the home. Mm -hmm. When I tried to switch off the Wi-Fi, my child laid a hand on me and I had to call the police. Mm -hmm. So the dangers, um, you know, screen is such a big danger. Yeah, it's But true. more importantly for those children, mm -hmm. because if they can't focus on anything other than the screen, yeah. What kind of relationships are they going to be building? Yeah. What kind of husband and wife are they going to be? What kind of you know, mother or father are they going yeah. to be? And how are they going to build success in their lives? Because success this is, is what, not just uh, Because the engagement or the involvement in any relationship, that is life investment. And if mm -hmm. you are not doing that, it's not that only the child is on the screen. This I was, um, I, I read one of the very um, good quote uh, the other day. Um, that the phone is actually bringing the person far away, close to you, but taking away the person next to you. Yes. Yeah. You know? yeah. So uh, the person, uh, it could be your children, maybe you're over the phone and they're talking to you, as you have mentioned before, mm. uh, that maybe you're ignoring or you're not, uh, you are acting like unheard. Mm. You know, mm. the children are feeling like that. The same with the screen as well. Um, so if uh, obviously um, you are not spending time with them, mm. they are not sitting with you yeah. on the table. Yeah. They're not sitting with you lunchtime, yeah. dinner time or bedtime, they're not talking to you. How would they know like what sort of problems, difficulties so I've, I've had or children you're say going to through? Me, yeah. I've had, you, you know, like every few months I find even myself, I find mm. I'm get, I get sucked into the phone or get sucked into yeah. apps or whatever. Yeah. And children do say, yeah. um, do you love me or do you love your phone more? Yeah. yeah. And that this says what it we all. said. Kids that are more clever all. these days. They're clever. Yeah. So what I find works for me is if I have set times. Mm -hmm. So if I have a set time, my kitchen cupboard is, my, is the home for my phone. Yeah. Because I don't drink tea or anything, so I hardly go to the kitchen cupboard that has tea. I don't go to it very often. Yeah. So what I do is I switch my phone off or I put it on silent and yeah. I put it in the kitchen cupboard. Yeah. And I, I, you know, I have a time in my head or I'll say to my children that from this time to this time, we're going to do this yeah. together. Yeah. And they know that they get full attention. 
Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And everyone, and I've told them actually that look, I'm human being. I might slip up. Tell me. So they tell me. Trust me. They tell me. Yeah. They tell me, Mom, you're going back on the phone too much, and the phone goes away. Yeah. If we have a set time for this is the time that the phone is away and I'm focused fully on my family. Mm -hmm. This is the time that um, that I'm working and I need to be answering messages mm -hmm. and emails and things like that. Mm -hmm. What I found is that the children are very forgiving. Yeah. And actually, we can focus better. Yeah. So what used to happen is that the phone would be out all the time mm -hmm. and the children would be vying for my attention all the time. Yeah. And I couldn't focus on this and I couldn't focus on that. Mm -hmm. So Alhamdulillah, what, what now I do is, I, like I say, I put the phone away and they know that they have 100% attention for this time. Mm -hmm. But then they know that for the next half an hour, mm -hmm. they need to be focused on their individual stuff because yeah. I need to be doing stuff on the phone or the laptop. Yeah. And they give me that space. Yeah. So it's, you know, so and I found that same. we have to discipline ourselves first. Discipline, yeah. Um, before, the same for my yeah. clients. They've done we the same. We have to be a role model mm. to our children. And then they have to learn that how to control themselves for the devices. But they feel satisfied mm. as well. You yeah. know, they yeah. feel satisfied that mom does love me or dad does love me. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. That I am the center of their world. Yeah. And that's why they're able to give more time for you to focus on your work. And you know what? It's amazing how much we can accomplish in half an hour. Yeah. If we're fully focused on that. Yeah. Even when it comes to work, yeah. if I'm trying to do work in front of the TV or I'm trying to do work, you know, with the children um, around and they're vying for my attention, it's not very focused work. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. you know, with everything, whatever it is, mindful, yeah. focus, one thing, then that thing, then that thing. Yeah. And I think that's the best way that we can manage um, manage ourselves and our children. Uh, Sabina, um, our discussion is going very well and I hope all the sisters and the audience watching um, uh, Sisters Corner, uh, they are enjoying. A lot of questions are coming up um, and I hope um, and I can see like you are answering them in detail, in depth, uh, which is very, very good. Um, another issue uh, these days, you know, parents are facing that in school, uh, the children are going through bullying and um, obviously that is another part of uh, behavior issue, behavior management. So what do you think how we can resolve the issue with bullying? Bullying in the way like uh, I would say um, like in schools, like sometimes, you know, the other kids, mm -hmm. they are bullying the other mm -hmm. children or sometimes it can happen that in uh, in the household, um, you know, some of the, our Desi parents, like they are um, sometimes not using the accurate language, I would mm. say, mm. to call their children mm. um, and they get used mm. to with it. Um, so okay. Okay. what sort of like... So, yeah, yeah, so with regards to school, um, you know, I spoke a bit earlier about, yeah. um, you know, putting in, you know, seeing actually what is the need for the child, because often mm. the child doing the bullying is just yeah. as much in need of something mm -hmm. as yeah. the child being bullied. Yeah. So, um, so, you know, like I said, there's programs in place to to find what they are mm -hmm. and then teach empathy as well. Yeah. With regards to parents, as you said, mm -hmm. um, it is a sad, it is quite sad when I, when I have, rarely, not often, mm -hmm. but I do sometimes have parents who come to me, one parent, mm -hmm. and they will say that, look, I'm trying to do the best for my children in terms of loving them and showing them that I respect them, etc. But mm -hmm. the other parent will talk like this and this and this. Yeah. And I'm going to be clear here, it's not always the woman comes and says, yeah. you know, that it's the husband's fault. Sometimes yeah. I've had fathers coming and saying yeah. that the mother of the child is speaking to the child in a, in a certain way that's not mm -hmm. appropriate. Yeah. What I would say is if you are in that situation where you parent in a very different style to your, mm -hmm. to your um, spouse, it's important for you to know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. And it's important for you to be firm in what you're doing. Yeah. Your children will learn very quickly mm -hmm. that mother responds to me like this. Mm -hmm. If I do this, these are my boundaries. These are my you know, logical, natural consequences that will happen. Um, these, this is the way that mother shows me that, uh, that she loves me or father, as I said, or father. And they will gain that from you. Mm -hmm. Some people, subhanAllah, it's a really, really hard situation. It's really difficult for me to ask this. <laughs> you put me on the spot here in such a short program. Um, but some parents come and have the impression that unless both parents change yeah. and both parents don't want to change, yeah. then the child will not benefit. Exactly. That's not true. 
that's actually not true. Mm -hmm. yeah. The children benefit. Yeah. You know, like say if you're here, if your yeah. child is here at the moment, mm -hmm. the children will benefit this much if you change, if just you yeah. change, whether you're the mother or father. Yeah. You know, if you get the knowledge that you need, yeah. you get the confidence that you need, the strategies that you need and the calmness that you need, the child will benefit this much. Mm -hmm. Yes, if both parents came on board, the child would benefit this much. Mm -hmm. But this much is better than nothing, right? Yeah, exactly. Like something is coming in and then never give up on... Uh, uh, you know, uh, again, I would say that unless we should be focusing on how to change ourselves mm. rather than changing the other, person, the other person, because we cannot, we can never ever change the other person fully. You no. know, no. So However, if, we, if we change the, if we change our behavior towards how we react again, mm. then it might help. Yeah. Yeah. So I have had a number of. Um, clients come and actually start doing what they need to do to become yeah. calmer parents, yeah. changing the strategies, changing the way they speak mm -hmm. to the children. And actually their spouse has seen the effect and exactly. they've come on board. Yeah. So it's not always, you know, a, a black and white scenario. Yeah. Um, and subhanAllah, if we, if we learn communication techniques, mm -hmm. actually it's easier for us to communicate with our spouses and yeah. our children pick up on that. It's easier for us yeah. to communicate with our families. Our children pick up on that. Yeah. So, yeah, focus on yourself. Yeah. And inshallah, everything else will, will come along. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, this is a very good um, topic, actually, we have discussed today. Um, Sister Sabina, I think all the sisters who are watching the program today, um, they, have, um, they have got a lot of um, into the brain in today, uh, today's show. And um, Sister B Sabina, I would say thank you very much for coming in in today's show. It was lovely having you today and a lot of things I have learned for myself as well. And all the sisters uh, who are watching our program, I would like to say that always, always remember that whatever involvement or engagement or the time we spend with our children is far more better and important than all the other things in the world. Because obviously when we have our kids, they are our world and we have to invest on them. We have to give them time. We have to talk to them. If they are going through any anxiety, stress, any problem, any issue, sit down with them, talk to them in a nice, uh, calm way. And I hope they will understand the situation and then um, you will be okay. So um, thank you so much for all the sisters watching our program. And uh, I hope to see you again next week. Till that, Allah Hafiz.